Hey guys, what's up? Mike Locke here. Thanks for tuning in to this video. In this video, I want to walk you through some pointers on how to get started in mobile UI design. All right, be it uh, for the iPhone, iPad, mini iPad, Kindle Fire, any Samsung device, like any of those Android devices, uh, Microsoft tablet, anything. How do you get started in becoming a mobile designer for any of those devices? I want to walk you through some steps. Now, this video isn't going to show you and cover everything it's just going to show you how to get started again once you follow these steps you're going to gain some some um, some experience you're going to gain your some confidence and become better at practicing and getting better at mobile ui design all right now let me just preface and say this before you get started in mobile ui design you must have a foundation of basic web design skills all right because web design is the foundation for mobile ui design okay why because all of the principles that you use in and the skills that you use in, in web design is carried over into mobile ui design um, and that means graphic design working with buttons um, working with text typography adding drop shadows to text um, adding drop shadows to objects working with gradients colors um, background images layout page layout um, adding noise texture you know um, page aesthetics um, all those things that you learn in web design is carried over to UI design um, even down to the conversion optimization techniques like um, call to action buttons and things like that okay so getting a foundation or getting a good understanding or having a good understanding in web design is key all right. If you want to learn more about how to become a good web designer, visit my um, my website mlwebco.com. Check out my training course. Have lots of material on that. Um, now, how do you get started in mobile UI design? First and foremost, the first thing, the first tip, is to always start with the device that you currently have. Okay. So, um, whether it's an iPhone, um, whether you have an iPhone, iPhone 5, whether you have like an Android device or an iPad, it doesn't matter, okay? So you wanna start with the device that you currently have and the reason is, is because you're gonna be doing some testing, okay? You're gonna be doing some practicing and testing on that device and you want to be able to see your work on that device in order to gain some perspective on the proper sizing and things like that, all right? So if you do not have any Samsung device, any Microsoft tablet, um, iPhone or anything, Think about investing in one, okay? You need one. That's how you, you need one to get started. Um, because, and also investing in one of those is you're investing in your future. Once you become good at, at mobile UI design, you will have many opportunities uh, uh, in the future. All right, so get a device. That's step one. All right, and start with the one that you have. All right, step two, go to all the popular apps out there and start taking screenshots of those apps and you want to email those apps to yourself or those screenshots to yourself all right so what do i mean by that is on a device like let's say an iphone every device has the capability to capture a screenshot of this actual screen all right now for the iphone pushing the the power button and the home button captures a a screenshot of their screen okay you want to capture you want to go to all the top websites like the facebook's the twitters the instagrams the yahoo apps all of, all the popular apps that have millions of users on them and the reason is is because those websites that have millions of users like the facebook's and the twitters the button sizes and the text sizes and the image sizes that they use in those apps are pretty good standards to go by all right why because millions of people are using them they've done some testing and they figured out the best um, approach in terms of button sizes and images and things like that all right and text sizes so it's always good to start off with capturing screenshots of the popular apps that are used by the millions by the masses okay so what you do is you take screenshots of them all right 10 to 20 screenshots of all these different apps okay the more the better um, you take screenshots and what you do is like you take a screenshot on your iPhone and if you don't know if you don't um, know how to take a screenshot on your device just Google it you'll learn it in like five seconds all right um, but you take a screenshot and all the screenshots are saved to your your photo section and then from there what you want to do is go into Gmail and email those photos to yourself okay email them to yourself and you're gonna pull them up on your 
your laptop or your desktop and start practicing on those. Let me get to that in a second, but you want to email them so email them to yourself. And the more screenshots the better meaning if you can take like eight different screenshots from Facebook, do that. If you can take, you know, five different screenshots from Twitter, from YouTube, wherever, right? Because the different states that you see within those apps the better for you to learn from. All right? Now, once you um, once you email these screenshots to yourself, they're going to, you then go to your desktop and pull them up in your Photoshop or Adobe Fireworks graphic design tool. All right, you pull them up and you're going to notice the, the dimension size of that image. Okay, it's going to be the dimension size of the viewable, viewable screen. All right, now you pull that up and then what you want to do is start practicing and start mimicking and start copying the designs of those screens for practice purposes and the reason why you're doing this this is in step three the reason why you're doing this is you want to get familiar with the spacing the text sizes the button sizes the image sizes and the standard layout of that device's screen all right so iPhone they always have um, like a status bar a nav bar down below um, and all the different different devices have standard standard elements standard UI design elements within those apps that you want to get familiar with and the only way to do that is to buy is to um, by copying and uh, mimicking the designs of those those apps now what you're going to do is copy the button sizes down to the pixel and then copy the button sizes copy the text sizes and then you're going to have a standard for what text sizes um, is best to use when you're designing your own app Okay, and what you do, let's say you take a copy of, a, of an app, you, you finish copying that app. What you do is you then save that screen off as a JPEG. This is step four. You save that, 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 that um, screen as a JPEG and you want to email that back to yourself in your, G, in your Gmail account, right? You email it to yourself and what you do is go to your phone. Okay, once you pull that up on your screen, what you can do, you will be able to see the actual size, the actual mock-up that what you created on your phone. And this will give you an indication if the button sizes, the text sizes, the colors, and the things that you created um, is pretty good for a mobile device. Okay, so sometimes you might start off and see that the text is too small. You just go back to your graphic design tool, bump up the text, save the image, email it to yourself, pull it up on your phone, pull up that image on your phone, tap into it, and you can actually see a screenshot of that image on your phone, all right? And that will give you a good indication on if you're using the proper uh, text sizes, button sizes, um, and, and, and so forth, all right? So that's it. Step one, use the device that you have. Step two, um, take screenshots of popular apps and email them to yourself. Step three, pull them up on your on you know in you know Photoshop or Adobe Fireworks and start copying those layouts to get familiar with the button sizes, text sizes, and things like that. Step four, email them, email those JPEGs to yourself, pull them up on your device, and get a feel for what it looks like. All right, that's pretty much the steps on how you get started now there's a lot of other stuff to cover like um, like retina display how you do how you deal with that um, also every single device has their own set of UI design components alright so when you interact with the menu on a Samsung device um, is different than how you interact with the um, menu option on an iPhone device or whatnot on like Kindle Fire or a Microsoft tablet okay every one of those have their own set of native components that you don't have to deal with when it when it comes to designing those okay so now you start off with the, the um, device that you have go to that devices um, uh, like homepage like if you have an Android device just type in Android development UI design kit and it will you will be able to find a kit that has all those different components on there and you can bring those in and pull those into your to your mock-ups to kind of get familiar with those all right that's it guys that's how you get started in mobile UI design hopefully this was helpful again if you want to learn more about web design visit my website mlwebco.com and check out the training course that I have there also uh, if you like the video like the video share it with your friends 
and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't and look out for more videos and we'll talk soon guys. Peace.